Hey friends, you're watching Brainstorm Makers. I'm Henry. This is my first day back after having dealt with a few health issues. Not big deals, but they were a real pain in the neck. Red sky in the morning. Sailor's warning. I guess we'll see. I'll have to check the weather forecast again. We have some really nice pink in our clouds this morning. Moving towards coral now, but still pink. <laughs> Birdies aren't even up yet. They'll be up in about, oh, 20 minutes maybe. So I need to fill the water for the bird bath so that they have a drink first thing this morning. Mr. Rufus is busy sniffing. He's convinced that the world is out there and he needs to know everything. I suspect he's been seeing a bunny a couple of times lately. He's just staring this morning. Hey dude, did you see anything cool? <laughs> he says, I don't know. We can hear our next one of our neighbor's roosters. <laughs> That's funny. Just part of living in the country. Chilly, huh? It's like 26 degrees this morning. Yeah, and I just put water in the bird bath. Birdies want me to leave, but I don't want to leave because Rufus hasn't gone potty yet. <laughs> but they're on the, they're coming in a little bit. The bluebirds are really, really, really shy. And this is, flock is mostly bluebirds with a few random sparrows and an occasional dark head, dark eyed junco or something like that, you know but mostly bluebirds and they need their water because <laughs> everything's frozen this morning and I just put out water. I may have to put it out again later. We'll have to see. Rufus, you need to go someplace else in the yard. You're too close to the birdies. They're afraid of you. Sometimes in the morning, I purposefully don't allow the cat out because I know the birds are really desperate for water and I want them to be able to get their water. They're pretty enthusiastic at this point. Very excited about liquid water instead of icicles. Usually what I try and do is remember to um, throw away the water at the end of the day so it doesn't freeze overnight. I did not do that last night, unfortunately. So I had to pour water in on top of the ice. But at least it's water for now. And I'll watch it if it freezes up. Either put warm water in or see if I can break it out. These are old frying pans that we use as, uh, as uh, bird baths. That way 
we can whack on them and do all kinds of things and it doesn't matter. I probably need to pull in a couple of the ones I've got out here, get them clean, and be ready to rotate if necessary. I have a little collection of old frying pans that I can use for this. Works great. And most of them are, uh, what do you call it, non-stick. So the ice comes out really easily. You can see how skitterish the bluebirds are. I mean, there's really, well, the dog's walking around, but other than that, there's nothing happening around here. Rufus, come on, come on. He's like, I don't understand. He's already toured the yard, taking a leak. Don't know if there's anything else, but I think we'll leave the birdies. I built this little platform out of cement blocks for training for Rufus, but he loves to just sit up there sometimes and look at the world, and Miss Issa is coming to visit him. <laughs> Very silly pussycats and doggies. He's wondering what she's doing, and of course she's wondering what he's doing. Makes sense. And it is chilly out here right now. That wind is like, woo. But he sits up there and you can see that little nose going. He is just checking out the world. Here I am, back in the greenhouse. All I've been doing for the last couple of months in here is occasionally trapping a mouse or a rat. <laughs> so I've started cleaning up the last of the mess. It was left over from the last time I used it. And there's bits and pieces everywhere. Um, I just cleaned out the last of the tomato tops, not tomato tops, uh, potato tops that were in here this morning. And I got out two little teeny tiny potatoes. <laughs> there they are, Adirondack Blues. And there could be other ones in there, but I dug down fairly deep and I don't think so. If there are any, they'll let me know soon enough. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna top this up. This is brand new, fresh soil right out of a package. Uh, it is nothing fancy. It is simple, so simply some of the miracle Grow uh, soil that is sold for growing plants and pots. And I'm gonna to top this up with a couple of buckets of uh, soil, probably up to about here. And then I am going to moisten it. I want to get this pre-moistened before I start to plant in it. And what I want to plant in here is probably spinach. I think that would be a good idea, spinach. I'll either do, I'll probably do spinach in here. I'll do some um, kohlrabi and a couple of these other guys here. I have to get out some of the rat traps. <coughs> and I need to do a little bit. I did some of the tying up here. I need to bring in a stepladder. I can't reach over here. Some of the uh, zip ties have died, which is normal. They're only good for about a year here. And even the ones that are UV protected. Going to get that in place. Going to be transferring water into these barrels from an IBC tote that is actually out there that we had originally planned to use for something different, but it's got perfectly good water in it. So we're going to transfer that into these. These are 40 gallons each approximately. And uh, that will let me have a good selection of water in here for quite a while. It, even in the summertime, that lasts for several weeks. So in the winter time, sometimes it can last for most of the winter. Uh, the goal is to actually pump the IBC tote that is out there dry <coughs> and move it to another location. So onward. <laughs> 